Hey guys, welcome to the video. Make sure to stay through to the end of the video to see how I use the Asus ROG SCAR3 laptop powered by GeForce RTX while I travel. Hello my beautiful friends, my name is Kristen, otherwise known as Kitty Plays, but if you're here right now, you probably already know that. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being back on my channel. There's so many things that I'm really excited and looking forward to doing here on this channel. A little bit more lifestyle stuff, but also some gaming stuff coming through too for you. I'm very excited, starting in October. So, in honor of my upcoming travels, I thought I would go through with you guys a few of my necessities for traveling. Um, one of the most asked questions I get on my social media is one, advice for solo travelers, and two, just advice for the favorite things that I bring traveling. Um, for a lot of people, traveling still seems really scary and daunting, but with a few uh, little things, you can make long flights feel shorter, more homey, and enjoy your travels more by getting there really rested. So here are a list of my favorite things to bring with me while traveling. Okay, very first, this is going to be like a really weird one, not a weird one, a no-brainer one, um, but it's socks. Specifically, super fuzzy socks because when you're on a plane, I've been on a lot of really hot flights, but majority of my flights seem really, really cold. And it's even colder when your feet are down on the ground um, or near the wall of the airplane. So I love when I get on the flight to take my shoes off, which I know people find very gross, but I immediately cover them up with these super, super fluffy socks and they just make me feel homey. And then I don't worry about my feet getting cold for the duration of the flight. And then I put my shoes back on when we land and everyone is happier because of this. I also think like if you're someone whose feet stink, um, it would be good for you to put socks on over your feet if you want to take your shoes off on the flight. That's just a tip from me because I've been on a lot of flights where all I can do is smell people's feet around me. <laughs> okay, so the second thing is this, you can tell it's been on a lot of travels with me, this evolution pillow. Um, it's a travel pillow. There's a lot of different ones you can get. The favorite thing I have about this one is it's memory foam so you can scrunch it up and make it about this size so it fits in any bag and if you don't want to have it in your bag you can also use uh, this little hook to kind of attach it to your bag on the outside but you pull it out and it starts to kind of get bigger. My favorite thing about this is that it's flat at the back. I know if you've seen a lot of like those donut style travel pillows, you know that they are like, you see people in them and they're there in their chair and they're like this, but by having the back flat, it lets you get super close to the back of your seat. This looks so silly on. <laughs> it's so comfy and then you can attach it together so it's not gonna go anywhere when you're sleeping and then not only can you lay on your side you can lay on your front you can lay on the back it is my absolute favorite travel pillow I bring it on any flight I have that's over like three hours because three hours is typically like a good flight for me to get work done and things like that so this is the go-to pillow for me okay my next necessity by far are sound canceling headphones. I've had a lot of different headphones over the year, but my current favorite are these Sony wireless Bluetooth headphones. Um, I will leave a link in the description with the actual model number, but they are so good. My favorite thing about them is not only will they do the full sound canceling, but they can also filter ambient noises. So sometimes I feel like almost a little bit claustrophobic when I've got the full sound canceling on. You can have different varieties of sound that comes through them. I think there's like three different levels. Um, and you can orientate them for the space that you're in. So I really, really love these. The sound is so, so clear for music or podcasts or movies or whatever you're watching. Um, and it also comes with an input cord in case you wanna be watching any of the movies on the airplane screen. Okay, my next necessity is an eye mask. This one is like so bougie, but I really love it so much. I used to have one of those fly ones because I would have fake eyelashes on, but I found that this does the exact same thing. I actually do wear it with the soft side on my eyes, and I just love these so much. You never know when the lights are gonna be coming on and off in the cabin, or if you're flying during the day and you wanna take a nap. It's just so nice to have something like this. You can pick up any of these at flights. I believe I got mine from Indigo Chapters, but this is 100% a necessity for me. Even if I'm flying on a short flight, like this just makes such a difference. 
favorites. Okay, so my next favorite is my Apple iPad. Um, I believe this is the Pro. And my favorite thing about this is being able to, one, read books. Sometimes it's really annoying to have to bring big, bulky books. Also, you know, paperless is the wave. Um, but my favorite thing about it, above reading books on it, above um, downloading some podcasts and things like that on it, is this Apple Pencil. I use this to color and draw so much when I'm flying. Like, I'm not a huge like artist, or I don't even really consider myself that creative, although I'm moving into my creative now, but I love just being able to doodle and draw random things on the plane. It really helps me when I'm having to wait and uh, spend time doing anything that doesn't have the internet. I just think it's a nice way to just be a little bit creative, have a little bit of fun, and um, you know, maybe you create a master play just on the flight, you never know. So one of the things that I'm gonna be bringing with me to Italy is my Asus laptop. This laptop is so great for traveling because it is light and it is so high performance. I have been really, really enjoying finally having a laptop that does not lose any frames per second when I'm playing, so I have no excuses for the ability that I have. It is 100% on me, not the hardware I'm using. So I'm really looking forward to bringing this with me to get a little bit of gaming in between on the breaks that I have, whether it's in the airport or at the locations that I will be staying at. So a few of my favorite things about this laptop is the frames per second, but it also has a 240 hertz monitor, which I don't even have a 240 hertz monitor at my stream setup. So the fact that my gaming laptop now has that <laughs> is pretty miraculous. Another great thing about the laptop is that you can automatically change cooling modes to suit the task at hand. It stays super cool because it has 12V polymer flans with increased blade count. And of course, one of my favorite things about computers is the cool color and lighting. Docking an ROG Keystone will allow you to change a bunch of different things and have a new feel to your laptop. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX graphics, you get incredibly fast, quiet, real-time ray tracing AI enhanced graphics that simulate the true behavior of light that brings real-time cinematic quality rendering to most visually intense games. This is all powered by the NVIDIA Turing GPU architecture and groundbreaking RTX platform everything you want to game your best. Thank you so much for this amazing, amazing gaming laptop that can actually keep up with me. Okay, my final thing is like my bag of goodies. Like this to me is just like the lifesaver of the flight. This is all the little things that you might need while you're flying that you don't know that you might need, but I've ne needed over the past at different moments. Also, when you arrive at your destination, it's really great to have all these things. So first things first is a Kleenex. You never know when you're gonna have a runny nose. Maybe it was a little bit of a cold coming on, but having some Kleenex to wipe your nose or blow your nose while you're in flight is a lifesaver. Or maybe wipe your eyes. Like there's so many different uses for Kleenex. Obviously, you need hair elastics to pull your hair back while you're in flight. Maybe you're not having a great hair day. Maybe you just want it out of your face and not all over your neck pillow. Hair elastics are really important. Um, I always travel with a an electrolyte. So this is the Noon Active. This is actually the brand I bought a bunch of for when I hiked in Peru. And it's the strawberry lemonade flavor. But all you do is just drop it in your water and then you get your electrolytes. I think this has a few other things in it. It just rolled all the way away. Next is this Evian water spray. I was just flying with Tyler recently and it's like kind of the most bougie thing ever. It's literally just water in a can that sprays out. But you lose so much moisture in flights. Sometimes it's really nice to just have a little bit of something to, you know, spritz up and uh, moisturize your face a little bit. Plus it's very refreshing. Next, I have earplugs. These are the earplugs I actually got at Fortnite World Cup. They give them out of their parties now. Just cute little purple earplugs. Sometimes the sound canceling is not enough or maybe you're staying at a hotel that's loud or in a venue where you just need to find that silence and that peace and quiet. Sometimes just having a pair of headphones and then I'll even put my sound canceling headphones on top and then I literally can't hear anything. It's great. Next, I have a few essential oils. My favorite essential oil is by Sage and it's called Peppermint Halo. And what you do is it's a roller ball and you roll it around the outside of your hairline and it helps relieve headaches, tension. Um, for me, it's, it really helps with my migraines. I just have to keep reapplying it and it works really well. But also, they've got this one called Stress Release and I really love having this 
with me on the flights because it's a blend of essential oils that just makes me feel calm and I don't know if it's the placebo effect now because I've used it on so many flights when I'm going to do like a big talk or I have a big activation or a big meeting and I'm getting kind of nervous about it on the flight. I'm not a nervous flyer but usually wherever I'm going there's something that's making me a little bit nervous or a little bit stressed out so I really really love this essential oil. When I smell it I just feel a little bit more at peace. So another thing that I <laughs> have in here and I like to carry is a barf bag and I know this is like kind of a weird one because most seats come with barf bags but the last time that I needed a barf bag I was feeling so sick and so nauseous on my flight. I still get a little bit of motion sickness sometimes if the turbulence is really bad um, and there was no barf bag in the seat. Uh, so I had to end up using like my neighbor across the aisles barf bag and I just love knowing that I have this in my bag in case I need it. In case you need to like use it as a garbage bag, there's a lot of different functions for it, but I like knowing that I always have one just in case. Okay, a couple more things. Nail file and pens. Pens are great, you never know um, who's gonna need a pen. I know that a lot of custom forms have switched to electronic, but it's always great to have a pen. I always take two because often my seatmates end up asking for one if we're filling out custom forms. Um, so I love being able to share that with them. I got this one in Japan and it's one of those ones when you're a kid that has like all the different colors and it makes me really happy. And then a nail file is always nice when you're traveling. You don't need to bring nail clippers and things like that, but sometimes you just get a hangnail or a rough nail and being able to file it down makes for your trip to be a lot nicer. Okay, and one last thing, I'm almost out of it, is melatonin. Melatonin is a really nice natural way um, to kind of ease uh, into sleep. The nice thing about this melatonin is it also has a little bit of magnesium and potassium, so it relaxes your muscle and your body, and it's a really nice natural way of you know easing yourself into sleep on a plane instead of using sleeping pills. So this is really, really nice to have in your bag. And finally, lotion. This is the Rose Hand Cream. I'm actually gonna put some on now. I love this hand cream because it just makes it so any part of your body can be moisturized while you're on the flight. Combining this with a face mask is also a really, really nice idea. My favorite are any Korean face mask. It's amazing. Um, make sure you guys aren't buying the cheap, cheap face masks. Uh, spend a little bit more and you're gonna notice a really, really nice difference. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in to my travel essentials video. If you wanna see more lifestyle videos like that, leave a comment down below. I love bringing you guys into my life. I've started vlogging, I just need to edit it. Let me know what you guys wanna see in the comments below. Also, there's a ton of games coming out right now, so let me know if you want me to try and play any of those and upload it here to YouTube. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, Kitty Plays. That's where I'll be posting all my stories and photos from the trips in the upcoming weeks. If you guys want any of the products that I talked about today, I will be linking them all below down in the description. So feel free to just open that up, check it out, and click anything that you would like to purchase yourself. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and more gaming content on the way.